Hello guys, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity that is from Amber. So Amber is hiring SDE full stack interns. So this internship opportunity is for all the engineering graduates. You are in uh, like you can be of any batch of 24, 25 or even 2026 20, batch. You can easily apply to this internship. Just you must have some basic knowledge that we will discuss in this video. And what is the eligibility criteria or what would be the hiring process? We'll discuss everything in this video. So watch the video till end so that you do not miss any kind of important information. So let's get into, into this video. So this link you will be getting in the description box as usual. So you just need to click on that link and you will be landed to Talent Battles official website where we have posted this Umber hiring. So here it is mentioned SDE full stack intern at Umber. In bracket we have mentioned the batches. You can be of any of the batch. Okay, because there is no batch restrictions in this drive. And job locations is Pune or Maharashtra. So it is not a work from home job. It is a work from location job. So you must be near to this location or you must be like good to relocate. Next, let us check about the company. What is this company all about? So Ambar is a fast growing student housing platform with globally 1 million plus units listed in six countries across 100 plus cities. So this is a very fast growing company. Those who have like uh, mentioned their uh, like annual target as well. So this would be do, uh, $2 billion annual gross bookings value by the end of the 2024. So in this growing company, you can also grow yourself because you will get a very good industrial experience. You will be having real-time projects which you will be working on and this internship will be a very valuable for you and let us check what is the job description so they are hiring for for backend intern so they are hiring for backend interns ideally in full stack so you, you must have some knowledge in full stack domain and you must uh, be like good with the full stack technologies you must have done any kind of certifications if you have okay so that are not necessary but that will of course be counted as an added advantage Okay, so if you want to work in a dynamic collaborative environment, we encourage you to apply for this position. So yes, uh, as I earlier mentioned, so you will get a very good team and a very good environment to improve yourself. So let us check what is the requirements or we can say what is the eligibility criteria. So you must have some experience as backend developer. So you must be like uh, having some experience as a backend developer. Knowledge of some front end technologies must be there. Okay. So you must have hands on knowledge about languages and libraries okay to work on okay that would be uh, like a very good for you uh, like html css javascript xml jquery so they have mentioned here in the second point you can check out okay next knowledge of multiple backend languages you must have like ruby javascript so you, you must have these type of knowledge next familiarity with databases example postgre sql okay so you must have this uh, like uh, any kind of SQL you must be knowing. Okay, it's not compulsory. So there, this is just an example they have mentioned. Okay, next some familiarity with cloud services like AWS, strong problem solving skills and attention to detail, excellent communication and collaboration skills. So this is like, uh, this is this requirement is from all the companies. So you must be having excellent communication skills so that you can cope up easily with the clients. Okay and here it is the uh, here it is mentioned like you must be enrolled in a bachelor's degree in computer science or related fields so only computer science or related field like information technology these streams are eligible for this particular drive and you must be enrolled in a bachelor degree okay so you can be from 2024 2025 or even 2026 batch of graduation next what is uh, you will get from amber so this is a fast paced growth okay you can skip the intermediate levels total freedom and authority everything under you just get the job done so they have easily mentioned like you must be good at your work you must exhibit good skills and they don't have any restrictions for you so if you can uh, like uh, take out their work and generate some like work for them they are happy to like uh, give you all the authorities and freedom to work okay Next, fair stipend. So it is a stipend based uh, uh, internship and you will get a good stipend as well. Okay. Although uh, like they have not mentioned it yet. And let us check on the apply button. Let us uh, check what is the like registration process for this internship so that we get more uh, like information about this. So you have to just scroll up here. You will find the apply button. So as soon as you click on this apply button. 
you will be landed to ambar careers page where uh, the same opportunity is mentioned like sde full stack intern and the location is mentioned pune maharashtra and it is an intern internship it is not a full time role okay so similar things that we have discussed past in this video they have mentioned but here is one more important thing you can just go through while applying so their work culture they have just mentioned their social media handles so you can just go through them to check out what is the work culture and what is the work life balance uh, in ambar okay so you can just go through this so without uh, any further delay we'll just jump into how we can register for this tribe so here is this button uh, named as apply now so let's click on this apply now so you can just directly apply with your resume as well or you can just mention each and every detail about yourself here okay so let us just uh, i'll i will not apply with directly with the resume i'll prefer uh, like applying uh, like word to word okay we'll go step by step so that we do not miss any important information here okay so we'll just mention the first name here if you have any middle name you can just mention otherwise you can skip that and last name next we need to mention our email id so mention your email id correctly because they will communicate with you uh, through your email only yes so i have mentioned the email id as well next comes to mobile number so just mention your mobile number if you have any another alternate mobile number or phone number you can just mention it otherwise you can skip this column next is social network and web links okay so provide some links like git you can mention okay so if you have any hyperlinks you can just add here okay or you can just also mention your uh, like uh, linkedin also you can mention linkedin okay any blog you have written uh, pinterest medium anything you can mention here okay employers if you have any past experience if you have worked with any other kind of internship or any other employer you have worked under so you can just mention the details of that employer but let us leave this now because this is not compulsory but it will be counted as an added advantage so if you have worked under any kind of employer you can just fill the detail here moving towards education so let's fill this education we'll click on this add education button so we'll just click here on add education we'll mention the degree so bachelor is important so we'll start from bachelors okay bachelors in technology so you can just mention bachelors in technology field of study it means your stream you need to mention so you can just mention computer science or your per, like your stream okay next institution or school name just mention your college name here or university okay So there is not a drop down menu you just need to uh, manually type okay so you can just mention your start date uh, whenever uh, like expected start date you have okay so if you have like if you are a 2024 graduate so you can just mention it uh, from like you can just mention from these particular years okay just randomly will fill it one date and we can just say currently pursuing okay will not fill any end date okay so wait a minute yes from here we'll select the year okay so we'll select 2022 and in july and let us take it as one july okay so we'll start it at one july and currently you can fill your original okay next grade so what uh like expected grades uh, like you can just uh put down any average okay so just put down any average otherwise there is no restriction so you can just fill uh more than 6.5 okay so fill your correct grades here okay so just count it total your all semester marks or cgpa whatever you are getting okay just total it down and divide it by the number of semesters you are taking out the average and just mention it here okay next uh, if you want to add your 10th and 12th as well you can just click on this add education and again add education to add your class 12th diploma or class 10th okay so i'm not adding currently i'll just remove this degree okay so next we'll click on this i am not a robot and just click on submit application okay once you can just go through each and everything let have you filled it correctly and lastly you can just submit your application so a resume upload is necessary so we'll just click here and uh, like put down our resume so yes i have added my resume just wait a few minutes yes so they have updated the some details also 
they've added some details okay so next we'll just click here on submit application and yes so you can see submit application you have successfully applied so yes so this was a very simple process next uh, for any further communication they will reach out to you on your uh, email ids only okay so keep uh, your e keep your email updated and keep checking it okay whenever you are applying to off campus opportunities so daily it is mandatory to check your email because uh, like some of the notifications are very important that needs to be replied instantly okay so just reply to those emails instantly if they have asked you any further details or any further documents if you have to upload okay so please keep your emails updated and keep checking okay so this was all about uh, amber careers in today's video so we have checked about this sde full stack internship so if you want uh, details for more hiring you can just check out more videos on our youtube channel and keep applying to this off campus if you have not got the job yet okay because these internships will, uh, are going to help you out okay and for any kind of help you can just reach out to us on our instagram or whatsapp as well or just comment down below our mentors will be happy to help you out so meet you in the next video till then stay tuned and take care bye bye